You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as, like, Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Mm. But basically, we have only two hands and two feet. Unless we have other group of beings on Earth that are structural, different from us, then there might be a different style of fighting. Now, why is that? Because we have two hands and two legs. The important thing is how can we use it to the maximum in terms of path, well, straight line, curved line, uh, uh, round line, they might be slow, but depending on the circumstances, sometimes that might not be slow. And in terms of legs, you can kick up straight. Same thing, right? Now, and after all that, then you ask yourself, how can you honestly express yourself at that moment? And being yourself, when you punch, you really want to punch. Not you want to punch because trying to avoid not getting hit, but to really be in with it and express yourself. Now, that is, the, that is to me the most important thing, and that is how can I, in the process of learning how to use my body, to understand myself? Now, the unfortunate thing is, now there's boxing, which use hands, judo, which is throwing. Now, I'm not putting them down, mind you, but I'm saying one thing that is a bad thing, and that is because of style, people are separated. They are not united together because style decay. Law, man. But the original founder of the style started out with hypotheses. <laughs> but now it has become the gospel truth. And people that go into it, man, became the product of that. It doesn't matter how you are, who you are, how you are structured, how you are built, how you are made. It doesn't matter. You just go in there and be that product. So styles tends to uh, 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 not only separate men, you know, because they have their own doctrines, and then the doctrine became the gospel truth, you know, that you cannot change, you know. And, but if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know? I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. First, we use the feet. And then we use the elbow. In fighting, there is a finger jab, there is a punch, there is a breakfast and the side kick. It depends on where you hit and what weapon you will be using. I can use my longest weapon, my side kick, against the nearest target your kneecap. This can be compared to your left jab in boxing, except it's much more damaging. You name it, man, we you use it all. <laughs> you have to, you see, because, I mean, that is the expression of the human body. I mean, the f everything, I mean, you know, not just the hand. And when you're talking about combat, well, I mean, if, if, it, if it is a sport, now, now you're talking about something else. You have regulations, you have rules, but when you're talking about fighting as it is, oh with no room. real fighting. Well then, baby, you better train every part of your body. A good martial artist is like water. Why? Because uh, water is insubstantial. By that, I mean you cannot grasp hold of it. You cannot punch it and hurt it. So be soft like water and flexible. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend.